with Mario Lopez. What's up, y'all? Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom, skateboarding Hall of Famer, the man, Tony Hawk. Welcome back, buddy. How you been? Thanks. Good. Thank you. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Thanks for uh, taking the time. It's always great to see you. Um, just announced today your new collab with Starbucks. Tell me about this partnership. Well, uh, I wanted to tell people how good the uh, iced coffee at home is from Starbucks. And so you always see me doing stuff that's like, don't try this at home. Well, this is something you can actually try at home. Ah. And uh, I have my own difficult version of doing it, but you can see that online. <laughs> Dude, I drink a venti iced coffee every day. And so now you're telling me I can try it at home and, and do because because, yeah, iced coffee is a difficult thing. So how do you do it? Uh, well, either through K, they have K cups or a concentrate, and uh, my favorite is the signature black iced coffee blend. But uh, they also have vanilla and other flavors, and um, you can actually make. I mean, most people don't buy iced coffee. Most people don't make iced coffee at home because right. they think it's better when they get it from a cafe. But this actually tastes like cafe style, okay, cafe I'm quality. I'm gonna trust you on that. Are you a cold brew guy? Cold brew, black, ice black. That's what I'm saying. Okay, me too. Although I do sometimes like, like a like a smidge of nonfat. I don't know why. It's like a little like a little smidge, and uh, and uh, I'll do a Splenda. That's that's my move right there. Um, I hit the fifth. Well, level. they have they have the creamers too. They got the creamers. Okay, you can get all hooked yeah. up right there. Um, I hit the fifth level recently, fifty years old, and I'm trying to dial it back a little bit with with the training and adjust because these injuries, man, start piling up and it's getting harder. And you seem to still be going full throttle or have you chilled out a little bit? Oh, that's a hard question to answer. Um, I went through a pretty bad injury a couple years ago. I broke my femur um, oh, well shit. into my 50s. And that kind of gave femur, me... You broke it in your 50s? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gnarly. What happened? Uh, I was just skating to skate my ramp, doing a McTwist like I do. I've been doing for 40 years. Right. And... Uh, I effed around and found out because I didn't have enough speed and thought I was still, you know, young enough to to pull out of it and it didn't work. But I think that was the that was my super uh, hard reality check. Come to Jesus. And moment. since then, yeah, since then I've been really way more into working out, uh, training, stretching. Like I didn't do any of that stuff all yeah. through the years, and uh, now I'm I'm way more disciplined. And I'm actually skating better than I was kind of before I got hurt. But uh, I I feel my mortality and I feel like I know I got to work at this. I'm going to keep doing it at my age. But hey, welcome to the 50 Club. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and likewise, you know, I um I now go early when I'm going to train and stretch and warm up. Same thing. I should just get yeah. start doing stuff. But now, yeah, you got it. You got to be smarter about it. Um, Hey, what do you what do you think about that uh, Australian teenager who uh, landed that 900? I, I'm not kidding you. Behind my computer right now is my ramp, and she's on it right now. Are you serious? Yeah, I just went out there to ask her what she's gonna do with that skateboard because I want to go. I want to buy it from her. Dude, that's awesome. Are you still <laughs> in San Diego, Tony? In San Diego, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's like you're from the Poway area or what area again? Uh, I grew up in Tierra Santa, sure. and then my parents moved to North County when I was in high school, and I've been here ever since. That's um, yeah, for well, sure. To answer your question, Arissa, I mean, she's really phenomenal, not just from 900, but just in terms of her, her trajectory. I mean, she's learning tricks. I mean, I just saw her do two new tricks just now that are sir, save for only the most veteran vert skaters, and she's just throwing them out there easily. Dude, that's so impressive. That's awesome. Um, skateboarding is also returning to the Olympics this summer. Uh, who are you keeping an eye on? And Outside of the Americans, who um, really brings it? Oh wow, there's so much talent. I mean, there there's Japanese skaters that are just killing it right now, uh, especially like Yuto. But I would say um, I, I I got my eyes on Tate Carew because I saw him coming through all the qualifying and everything, and he just won the last qualifying. Uh, he's from the U.S. He's actually from our area, and. I mean, in full disclosure, I sponsor him, but there's a reason for that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, man. I love it that you're still so passionate and keep up with it. It's so cool. Um, you also got a podcast, Hawk versus Wolf. What's it about? Uh, it's my my friend Jason Ellis and I. He's a former pro skater too, but also he was an MMA fighter. And uh, it's just us 
doing interviews with some of our favorite people, sometimes just telling our stories. I mean, between him and I, we have a lifetime of crazy stories, you know, in skateboarding. And uh, it's funny. I mean, really, that's the bottom line. It's just it's just an escape. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like a good time, man. It's always great seeing you, buddy. Congratulations on everything. Look forward to hopefully seeing you in person. And listen, you can get the new Starbucks iced coffee blends and cold brew concentrates wherever you buy your coffee. Tony, thanks for taking the time. Thanks, Mario. On with Mario Lopez.